Hello Hacienda La Puente, this is Ricardo, one of your tech tosas, and today I want to show you how to use Office 365 cloud assignments on Canvas. Now, I know most of us are used to um, using Google, but I want you to see that Office 365 offers you the same features that Google does in addition to some extra ones that you might not have. Also, um, you might want to consider that uh, because we, um, along with our students, are on the same domain, hlpusd.k12.ca.us, this uh, will make it easier for our kids to authorize their Office 365 and to be able to use this type of external assignment. So I'm going to show you how to do it. The first thing I want you to see before we start it's that Office 365, uh, most of us go to office365.com to get into our Outlook, right? And what I want you to see is that once you log in, you have all the cloud versions of the programs you love. So Word, Excel, PowerPoint, and there's some other ones like Sway, which is incredible, and Forms. Now, if we think about Google, Word is just our Google Docs. Excel is our Google Sheets. PowerPoint is our Slides right forms it's our google forms too so you can use any of this stuff on the cloud and the kids can collaborate and also do it online so they don't have to download the document so um, i just want to make sure that you understand this um, we also have onedrive and if you notice onedrive is basically a microsoft version of google drive okay so here are all my files in here all of my folders with files inside of them i can uh, make this look differently if i wanted to okay i can make it look like tiles so if you're used to tiles this looks like tiles it looks more like google drive but everything is in here okay the other great option that you have with um office 365 is that you can actually make and i'm gonna show you your um one drive up here on your uh, desktop as a virtual drive. So basically, if you have before used Google File Stream, you know that you need administrative password to install it. You don't need administrative password to install OneDrive, okay? All you would do is go to Start on the window, find OneDrive, and you might have two of them. Um, there's a business and a OneDrive. I would just use the OneDrive, click on it, and then when it asks you for your uh, account, just use your HLP USD and you'll be able to install it. It'll be available always for you right here. But today we're gonna worry about Canvas. So I'm here in Canvas. Okay, I'm going to go to one, go to one of my classes. Okay, let's go to um, this particular class. And now we are in the class. I'm going to go to assignments, okay? I want to create a new assignment, okay? And um, first I'm gonna do it with uh, Word and I'll show you how it looks with PowerPoint. So let's call this a Word doc assignment. I can go ahead and give instructions, right? I can create the points for the kids over here. Uh, I can do the assignment groups depending on uh, whether or not I created those. The display grades, I'm not gonna spend time, but the submission type, we need to switch it to external tool, okay? And let's go ahead and go to find the external tool and by default all of you have something called office 365 cloud assignments so i'm going to click there and it's going to look for my basically my one drive okay i have created a folder in here that is just called uh, canvas assignment so i'm just going to open it okay and i have an assignment that i want to give my students so i have it already here it's just a word document so i'm going to select it and i'm going to attach file now this takes a little while, it's going to actually take that file from your drive and it's going to attach it. So it's done. How do I know it's done? It populated an address over here. Select, you can see that there's something in there. You can uh, change the submission attempt. It's assigned to everyone and I wanna give it a due date of tomorrow, okay? And I want it to also go away tomorrow. Okay, so let's go ahead and save. So I can save and publish, but let's go ahead and save right now because I want you to see what happens. So now the assignment is going to be right here, okay? What I want you to see is that with Word, you have some tools that maybe you don't have available with Google, okay? The first one and the most important one. So in this particular case, my kids have to read the story and then answer some questions, okay? 
what I want you to see is that you actually have Immersive Reader available right here, okay? Uh, if you have not seen Immersive Reader, we have another video for it, but Immersive Reader allows you to take, or allows our student to take that text and change it into something that is uh, user-friendly for them to read. Notice that it changed the colors. I can have it read to me if I wanted to. Okay, I can change colors, I can change fonts, I can change the text size, okay? Um, I also can show the syllabus, I can show nouns in a different color, verbs, adjectives, adverbs, and show labels, okay? Just really, really quick. I also have a picture dictionary in here, and when I click on the word, it will show me what it is, okay? For our students that might need uh, to focus, I have line focus when I go through the reading, okay? You also have uh, the picture dictionary, but you can also translate the document to many languages. So for our um, students that might need support, right? Our ELD students, uh, maybe you have a, a kid that just came from Mexico, so I want the Spanish and I want to translate the whole document. And notice that now I have the original document, but I also have the Spanish version that can be, that can be read to me in Spanish and I'll still have the picture dictionary and now I have it in Spanish. So just a really quick introduction to Immersive Reader, but this is the assignment, okay, right now. So let's go ahead and see what it will look from a student's point of view, okay? Give me one second. I'm gonna go uh, back. So now I'm here as a student, and I want you to see that I have the ability to open it. What does that mean? It just means that if I'm not comfortable with a little screen, I can open it and it's going to open it in a bigger screen so I can work on it. That's all it means, okay? I do have the Immersive Reader and I have the ability to edit the document to answer those questions, okay? So you can do it that way, but if the students want to function out of this little screen right here, all they do is they go to Edit Document and you wanna make sure that they're going to edit right here. They're not gonna open it on the desktop app, okay? We don't want that because then they have to download the document and then upload it. By doing it online and clicking Edit here, it's going to create a file for them, kind of similar to like make a file for each student in Google. And now notice that they have all of the Word document tools in here. There's so many of them. I'm not gonna spend time talking about it, there's a lot. But the students can read the document if they needed to use the Immersive Reader again. They have the ability to do that, but they can come in here and they can say, uh, what do drops on waters turn into? Clouds, right? What are the uh, two ways clouds get named? Uh, and then they can answer the questions. Obviously, I did not read the assignment right, but notice that the kids can answer the assignment, and when they are done, they can just click Submit, okay? When the students click Submit, it says the assignment has been submitted, and let's say that they wanted to come back and redo the assignment, they can click on Finish, and it allows them to go back and change some of their answers, and then they can submit again, okay? As a teacher, you are going to have the ability, just to give you an idea, this is what called Word Cloud Assignment. Um, if I go to my gradebooks, there's many ways to get to SpeedGrader, but notice the Word Cloud Assignment, Word Doc Assignment is there, okay? I have the ability to come in here and go to SpeedGrader, okay? And look for that student that did his assignment and be able to grade what he did with any of my tools at SpeedGrader and put points in here. If I had a rubric, I could do that. So this is how you would do a Office 365 cloud assignment using the Word doc. Thank you.